what's up everybody today we're gonna to talk about taco charlton the trade rumors swirling this is serious shark tooth baby is that a shark month shark tooth month all right so uh this is something that's been festering for quite a while now um as far as taco charlton's future with the dallas cowboys you know he was inactive after having a, a really strong uh, preseason game, you know, where he was basically the MVP of of that game before, you know, uh, injuring his ankle uh, or having some sort of issue there. So uh, up and down career with Cowboys, four career sacks to the regular season. Um, you know, inactive a whole a whole lot. Uh, more missed games than he has sacks. So the the, the numbers you know are just not in his favor. But um, you know. You you know you you get him at the end of the uh, of the first round when they drafted him, and a lot of those defensive ends that were in the conversation: Charles Harris, uh, T.J. Watt, Taco Charlton. Watt always injured, but I mean he is getting he is getting production. So you know if you're talking who you rather have had, probably go with Watt. Charles Harris was in the same conversation. He's been a total flop with Miami. Um, so, you know, it's it, it's a crapshoot there, you know, and defensive ends, boomer bust, especially at the end of, uh, you know, your first round. It's it's a, it's a rolling of the dice, you know, and hindsight 2020, that kind of thing. But now we're, we're down to it, you know, inactive and um, can't beat out Dorrance Armstrong, Tyron Crawford and, and the other uh, vets there that are um, tenured vets that, that aren't going to go anywhere that the Cowboys are going to keep. So the odd man out right now looks to be Taco Charlton. And you, you have Quinn coming back. So the, honk, the whole conversation not right now is really focusing in on when Quinn comes back, Taco most likely will be the odd man out. All right. So, um, and now, you know, you're, you're starting to see more, more rumors of this. You know, the latest one here comes from uh, blogging the Blizzoys bloggingtheboys.com they, they have a little information on this from RJ Choa he's a good follow if you like to read blogs and that kind of thing he's a good follow so check out that article he kind of breaks it down play by play as to where this is at right now and um, you know Brian Broaddus made, made a comment there that the Cowboys are in talks with a team you know there's a, the team obviously you, um, was not was not revealed so and it, and it is for a player player for player trade at, at this moment so who could it be uh, what position could it be and that kind of thing so first thing i like to look at is who might be available so really you could go across the league and look at some of your inactive players um just for example you know you have the colts here's here's their inactives last week you know what might what might pique the cowboys interest maybe another defensive tackle uh, you know, a guard or something like that. They have some there. Uh, the Raiders, the Cowboys have a trade relationship with them. Here's their inactives. Uh, I obviously, Keelan Doss, he's he's on the team. He's back with them. Gabe Jackson is an interesting name. And uh, so is David Sharp. Jonathan Cooper, obviously, you know, he has been with the Cowboys. So, you know, and then obviously, uh, Corey Lugent. So, Interesting names there, the active, uh, inactive players from the Raiders. But, you know, you can look all across the league and see, you know, I'm sure that's what the Cowboys are looking at. And that's what teams would be looking at. You're like, we have a player here that, that you know, is uh, inactive. We'll trade you players. And hopefully that other team, they can score something with it. You know, um, the Cowboys have done this before. They did it with Antonio Bryant where they, they shipped him off. And then they got... Uh, a wide receiver from the Browns and you know you sometimes sometimes you just move on and hope that you get something in return but most of the time to be honest these player for player moves they don't they typically don't pan out good all right they, they typically don't so uh, but the Cowboys do have a really good scouting department you know and, and you do want to go back and look at some of the players that you have scouted before like I said with the Raiders Gabe Jackson is somebody Cowboys had interest in during that draft process i remember that vividly uh a mauler and that kind of thing i don't know what happened to him what his injury history is or what happened there with with that but if i'm the cowboys i'm probably looking at uh, offensive line a better tackle 
because I, I'm not I'm not too comfortable there with that, and um, or maybe another pressure player, maybe another defensive end or defensive tackle. I feel like they need to get more pressure from the middle. They they just aren't getting it. They're not getting it. That 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 middle there. I still I still feel that that middle of the defense is a little bit vulnerable. They did get shredded again on on uh, on defense. They gave up a lot of yards, too many yards. You know that they held it down with the points. But uh, you're rolling the dice, hoping that you can keep doing that week in and week out. So they they got to fix that. They got to fix that on defense. All right. If you're gonna give your if you're gonna give your defense a nickname as the Hot Boys and and the Perch Squad, <laughs> you better show up and back it up. All right. And um, numbers wise hasn't happened in week one but we'll see what they do but what do you guys think about a taco charlton trade would you take anything at this point you know if, if not a player maybe they score a draft pick you know a fifth or sixth round player and uh you know flip that in the draft and hopefully you can hit on somebody a late rounder cowboys have hit on some late round guys you know look at donovan wilson look at x woods these types of players so you know, see what you can get for him. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Taco will, in fact, be traded for a player or a draft pick? Or do you think, ultimately, after this week, he'll be released? Let me know in the comments what you think of this. And uh, I really appreciate it. I, I'm going to be interested to see what the comments are on Taco. I know it's a very uh, interesting conversation when we talk about him. Phone's blowing up here. Ta everybody's talking about this right now, okay? Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, guys, hit like on this video. Hit like on this because this, this is a hot topic of the day. Taco Charlton trade rumors. Like, subscribe, and share. See you for the next one, guys. Peace.